Those navigation points that we added into our map are really only half the battle. The other half is that we need to create a navigation mesh to help our crowd agent understand where any walls and obstructions might be along their way. Now, creating a navigation mesh is very easy. It only requires the addition of pylons. A pylon is a special kind of actor that we can create at any time. I'm just going to right-click here on the floor, choose Add Actor, and Add Pylon. You don't have to dig it out of the Actor Classes browser or anything like that. And here it is. Now, to show off what this is going to do, all I'm going to do is just click Build Paths up here inside the main toolbar. Give that a moment, and we get a navigation mesh. What this has done is it has calculated everywhere that one of our crowd agents could potentially go within the radius specified in the actor itself. And you can see this is almost enough, actually this really probably would be enough, to guide our robots all the way around the level. So we take a look at it from above, you can see exactly how that works. Now, if, say we wanted to fill in this corner up here, we didn't want that to, uh, to be blank, we could just add another pylon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and here in the top view, I'm going to drag a pylon over here to the other side. Now, if I put it right here in the center of the room, we have a problem in that you should never have two pylons that both are within each other's radii. So if we take a look right now in the top view, and I'll go ahead and make this nice and big, both of these pylons are in each other's radii, and that's a problem. Now, we're fortunate in that we could just take this guy and slide him just barely out of the radius. It's okay if the radii overlap. That's perfectly all right. You just don't want them to be in each other's radii. Okay, so with that, now let's uh, rebuild one more time. And I'll jump over to the perspective view. And now we've got a navigation mesh which completely fills up all of the surfaces of our level. And the color coding helps you kind of see what's going on. The green are areas that our bots can walk, and the red surfaces are obstructions or obstacles that they won't be able to get through. So that's the other half of our navigation. So go ahead and save your work at this point, and then we'll take a look at how we can start spawning our bots into the map using Kismet. This is, this is, this is, this is. 